Hello, I'm Josh Johnson, and welcome to Virtual First Friday here at Railroad Square. This month, we are highlighting incredible African-American artists. To start, we have Leon Hicks, a master engraver and printmaker. For those of you who don't know Leon Hicks, and hopefully that is very few of you, Leon is an absolute treasure. Leon is an academic, uh, but his claim to fame or his notoriety is uh, most palpable in the fact that he is a master printmaker engraver. Uh, it is a technique um, that takes so much skill and it is a skill that Leon has mastered. Um, and he has a studio, a working studio here in Railroad Square. And so Leon Hicks will have a beautiful show exhibited at the 621 Art Gallery for the whole month of February. It will encompass a series of about 35 different colored monotypes and some other works from across the life's work of Leon Hicks. We would love to see you there. Next up is herbalist Dana Brower owner of Knots and Mains, a shop right here in Railroad Square. Her tradition informs her craft and her family has informed her tradition. Here, it's all about nature. It's all about nature and enhancing your health in nature. I create all my um, products, hair and skincare products. I also create soaps or whatever else I wanna create. My journey began with um, my, my own health conditions. I have chemical sensitivities to lotions and my face was always broken out or my skin was always broken out or itchy. So um, my journey into natural care was personal. It was purely personal. Everything I created was for myself, but the public became interested in those products and I um, started selling them. I kind of graduated more wanting to learn more about uh, natural care um, ingredients and products, so now I'm studying herbalism um, just because I want to improve my products. I want to make my products better. Culturally, I am my grandmother's child. Um, I believe in making things from scratch, knowing what's in them. Um, I'm really attached to the earth um, because that's the way we grew up. We grew up eating fruits and vegetables off the trees, growing our own things, making our own things. So it kind of just comes naturally, natural to me to be this, uh, culturally, I'm a, a, a Southern country girl. The creative process for me is ongoing. I'm always thinking about what I'm gonna do next, what I wanna make next. It starts with an idea, something that I want to um, create, usually for myself. If I'm having a problem, what, whatever it is, digestive, it, it, it begins with, okay, well, you need something for this. Um, and so the creative process begins usually with me, but then also with my clients now. I have clients um, that come in and they want specific things for, for specific reasons. I would say that um, we need to look to nature more. We need to look to nature more for uh, what our bodies need. We are what we eat. Next up is Brandon Adelum, a talented photographer with Guy X Photos, a studio right here in Railroad Square. Here at Guy X Photo, we specialize in portrait photography as well as weddings. Okay, so I started photography in 2016. I'm into cars, and my brother had just bought some new wheels for his car. And at the time, videos for cars were starting to really blow up. So we decided that we would make a video of his car. And of course, I was chosen because I had the best like iPhone at the time. So I went ahead, I recorded it on my phone, edited it, and put it on YouTube, and it got a lot of views. Um, and of course, you know, that reinforcement from the views kind of fueled me to like doing it. Um, and I just figured maybe if I had a camera, the quality would be much better. So I got the camera and I just continued to grow and now I've expanded it to Guy X Photo. We have a thing at FAMU called Set Friday. Um, and that's just kind of how I launched what I was doing. I would go to Set Friday take pictures of people, post them on Instagram, and then tell them that I can send them the pictures, but they would have to follow me. So in that one day, I gained roughly 300 followers. And from that point, I just you know kept going, 
I find a lot of my inspiration um, for my photography from music. Um, it's mostly music, but a lot of times I draw from really anything. Um, I've had times where I've seen squirrels outside and it's inspired me to you know, do something artistic. But for the most part, it's music, sometimes movies. Next up is Mary Proctor with her visionary collages, paintings, and assemblages. Welcome, this is Mary Proctor. And I want to let you know a little of my story, how I got started. Um, it was in 1995. I, uh, 94, I lost three members in a house fire. And one of them was my precious grandmother who raised me. I was painting on the Woodville Highway and I, I painted due to the loss of grandma. I wanted to tell people about how wonderful she was, the story she told me, and I only focus on the good. I do not focus on anything negative. I focus on positive because I found out you cannot erase and go back and pick up negative and go forward. You have to pick up positive, you gotta be, pick up things that are good and go forward. So here I am with my wonderful painting out here to tell you that it was in 1995 I started and I wanted to come out of depression. I was down, I had missed my grandmother and I wanted to know what was my purpose in life. I was outside the road and there was a New York gallery owner in 1995, she passed along and saw all of her wonderful works outside the road. And she said to me, she said, ma'am, she came in and ma'am, what is this? I told her, what are you talking about? This, I'm just writing on things. She said, no ma'am, this is folk art. I said, ma'am, this is, what is folk art? I never heard the word folk art before. All I know, she loved it so much. I thought she was weird, really weird, but she was a New York lady, had a gallery, came in, looked at my beautiful works out here. You can see the sun shining on. She looked at my beautiful work and guess what? She bought five doors and guess what happened? She took those doors, I, I didn't want to sell them, but. 10, well, she paid me $5,000, 10 doors she took and went and told me she was gonna come back for me in New York City. Guess what happened? She took the doors, came back a year later. I had a one woman show in New York City. My doors was not was was sold for 2,500 to 5,000 a door. It was incredible. And I'm just here to tell you, I have never stopped. I love doing it. Everything is good, feel good about me when I make art. When I do things, that's my job. Yours might to do other things. You never know. Yours might to go out and help somebody. Yours might be to cook. Yours might be to dance. Yours might be whatever you is good at is to do good. And in spite of what you're going through, in spite of what you fight it by doing good. And here I have a workshop. I have a story with this here. I want you to come out, take my workshop, and I want you to do, bring your own message. Bring something personal that belongs to you. And I will write on the back of it done with Mary Proctor. I also will give you a certificate of achievement with me. And I also have a little story that come with it that we posted on the back. You can't miss this, because remember, it is not about what you've done, it's about what you going to do. Because see, you can't worry about what you've done. You gotta go forward to what you can do and to better you, better your life, better everybody else around you. And we can't focus on yesterday. We must focus on today to make tomorrow better. This is Mary Proctor. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us with this month's Virtual First Friday. We had such a good time highlighting incredible African-American artists that add to the flavor, the essence, and the spirit of this city. Hope to see you next time.